right, so here's what's going on. We got us a problem. No, we don't have a problem. I don't know we got a problem. We're gonna go to the scrap yard again. We got everything about to the point where we have a full load. We've been emphasizing more detail in the scrap. We're taking things apart a little bit further. We're putting things in small units so that when we get there, we have less, less to do. Uh, the last time we went to the scrap yard, we really had everything separated. Uh, we just had some loose stuff that we didn't have enough of on the back of the truck. We're not gonna do that this time. We're gonna go in with a different way. So what we don't know is if they saw the last video and they won't let us come in. That's all right, you guys gotta remember something. We can, we can take this to Sarasota too and they'll pay us more and it's fine. If you're gonna make this hard for us, hey, wait a minute. we won't wait come. Wait a minute, it's the company's making it hard. I'm just implementing my rules. Yeah, so we'll find out. Um, they're uh, one of the local scrapyards uh, just sold. Um, and it's not very well run. We are praying and hoping that they can get their stuff together so we can start using them. This particular scrap yard, it's sold to a new company. They seem like they're more on the game. They seem like they have a better approach to things. Um, the problem that I have and the attitude that I had in this last video came from the fact that I've seen them cheat people over and over and over. And they have in fact cheated me many times and it's very offensive because we spend a lot of time going through this scrap metal and taking it apart. And then we come in there and we dump out a can and there's two or three little items in there that haven't been processed properly. And then what they do is they'll take your, let's say it's $1.50 a pound you're supposed to be getting. Well, you're not noticing it because you're unloading the truck and doing everything and you find out that they just gave you 50 cents a pound on that. Well, at 50 cents a pound, guess what? You had somebody do this work for you. You had somebody do the scrapping, so you just burned all that money. You didn't get paid. You, you basically just changed money for money or even lost money. It's stupid. So that's why it's so offensive to me. When we come into the scrapyard and they tell us something like, you have to move your truck out of here. It's too big. Oh, we got a box truck and a, and a 16 foot trailer full of scrap metal. So they want us to sit outside the scrap metal yard in the driveway between where all the cars are parked. So every time somebody needs to leave, we have to move. Um, not to mention it's a, it's a difference of like three or four foot in elevation. So there's heavy carts, the wheels don't work very well. So we got to run them up the incline and then inside the building and then get try to get around all the trucks and cars and stuff. And they, they don't have any uh, organization. They don't leave enough room for the carts to get through. So you've got to go and negotiate with people to try to move their trucks back or whatever. It's, it's really a, it's really messy. It's not cool. We consider ourselves very professional. We, we come in, we have everything processed. We're not doing any processing there. When we have something that's not processed properly, we just throw it back in the truck. We don't try to do it there. We respect them. We want them to respect us. So when we go up north, when we go, which is another hundred miles for us, which is no fun. We don't want to do that. We go to this other scrap yard. Um, it's called Suncoast. You would think we were the scrap gods. We come up there, they, they, they love us to death because everything's separated, everything's cut up. And when they dump it out into their bins and they find one or two little things that we didn't get scrapped properly. So is that worth us getting 50% on 500 pounds of material because there's two little pieces that aren't processed properly? I don't think it's cool. I wouldn't do that to somebody. I think it's dishonest. I hate dishonesty. It pisses me off. So anyway, that's where we're at with this. So we do the best we can. So when we go, let's say when we go up to Suncoast, um, they help us unload. They uh, are glad to see us. They interact with us. They give us better pricing because we have bulk stuff. We bring a lot of stuff and it's like, wow, you know? And then we look at these guys and we watch them cheating. They call them the crackheads. You know, I heard one of them comment on one of our videos and they're calling them the crackheads. I'm saying, they're not crackheads, they're people. You know, they're struggling to get by and you're gonna cheat them because they're crackheads or they look like crackheads or they don't look like you. So, but anyway, there you go. But anyway, we're gonna go back here and take a look at, we're processing this uh, scrap metal right now. We're just gonna go check it out. So we're almost ready to take this load to uh, back up there. It's been about six weeks since the last time. There's Bernard hard at work. So these are coils that come out of air conditioning systems. 
copper that's come out of air conditioning systems. The little tiny ones or lines come into the refrigerators for the um, ice makers. This right here, this is brass. Just about anything they use with water is gonna either be copper or brass. This is copper. We choose not to strip it. It's so much work to strip this much cop this kind of copper. It takes a lot of labor. The amount of labor it takes to do the copper and to get the additional amount, it just does, it's just not cost effective for us. This is not our primary source of income. So what we're doing is we want to do a pretty good job, make it make sense, and use it to keep um, the guys busy in the mornings when we don't have enough furniture and stuff to unload. Right now, this is our slow season, so we do a lot of stuff. So our scrapping will be get done much better this time of the year than it will be in other parts of the year. Other parts of the year, we'll have have to do the scrap just to get it out of our way because we're we're out of space so if you look back in here you could see us scrapping in here if you look way back there you see all that black stuff on the ground that's the plastic coming off the wire that we feel like is worth stripping which is this stuff here when you take that coating off of this this creates bare bright copper this is the highest grade of copper that you can get. When the wires are that size, we run them through this stripping machine here. And we come up with this. And if you look inside of here, look at how much copper there is. This right here probably weighs three pounds. So this will be in the neighborhood of 250 to 350 a pound. So it adds up. That's Bernard over there. He likes to hide, but He's our scrapologist. He's the one that kind of gets the guys to do this. He does this most of the day. Anytime he runs out of work, or he's not loading somebody or he's not fixing cabinets and stuff like that, he's back here working on the scrap. So this whole pile here will end up getting put into that truck that we're gonna show you in just a minute. Um, this over here, this is an electric motor right here. These casings right here, we've taken all the breakers out of them. We're gonna put them on eBay and we're gonna sell them. They will go in there. Do we have any breakers sitting out here? These are breakers. Breakers typically, they don't go bad very easily. So these breakers are just fine to be used again. So we'll put them on eBay and we're gonna sell them. And we probably have, what, three, two, 300 of these? Yes, sir. So Angie will do this and she'll put them on in lots of like 10 or 15 and she'll sell them on eBay. This right here, this is dirty brass. This is like a $1.50 a pound, I think. It's been a while since I really looked at the pricing on the brass. So this kind of stuff gets put in as dirty brass. All of this in here is dirty brass. These are all junctions uh, that they use for water. They're uh, connectors and T's and stuff like that and valve bodies. We pretty much scrap everything. So these are just power cords and stuff like this. This is kind of light uh, electrical cords. And what you do is you get like 40, 50 cents a pound for these because there's so much plastic involved. This right here, what is this? Is this going to be copper? Most too? bars, it's actually copper coated. It's copper uh, coated. It's pretty much 100% copper. So this is all copper too, even though it's got a different color on it. It's co coated. It goes inside of the panels where you put your breakers and the breakers will be connected to it. And then this transfers to this where a wire would go here. And that's the wire comes in from out on the street on the pole and it gets into your panel here. It charges this thing up and then it transfers the power to these breakers. The breakers are connected to your wires, so on and so forth. So this is all copper, even though it doesn't look copper. You see how that's copper? It actually kind of looks like brass, but it's actually copper. You can see the color here. These panels right here, not worth much. Well, this is considered shreds. It's uh, magnetic metal. It's um, They'll be put into one dumpster. We do these in 30 yard dumpsters and we take them in. So all these had breakers and they had these bus bars inside them like that. So Bernard, over here, what are these? These are coils from what? These are coils from uh, AC condensers. So these are AC coils for inside the house and outside the house. So there's a little box you see with your air conditioning system. It's got the fan in it. That's what these are. These wrap around the uh, a fan. The fan sucks the air through it, cools them off. And this stuff has Freon that runs through it. And that's what um, interacts with your inside air conditioner, air conditioning unit. It's called an air handler. And that's how it makes your house cool. 
We got to have a demo permit to, to turn these in or you have to be an HVAC guy because people steal this kind of stuff. Um, these are worth, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 bucks a piece, depending on how big they are. If you see how many different styles we have here, these are all different styles of systems. And, um, and he's got everything separated. So he's got these separated from these. You cut the ends of these off like this because this is metal. This is regular metal, ferrous magnetic metal. And that makes these more, makes them clean. Clean or unclean? Clean means you don't have plastic, you don't have regular metal, you don't have um, paint, um, anything else that might be on something that's metal. All those kind of things to make them dirty. So this is a lightweight aluminum and it's got this insulation in it. With the insulation in it, they don't want it. They don't want it. There's not enough metal here to make the insulation worth dealing with. So this just put it into our ferrous okay. load. Actually, never mind. Let's just take it in and see what they give us for it. Because okay. you've already separated it. All right, come on back here. This is sheet aluminum. If you have sheet aluminum mixed in with your extruded aluminum, it makes the extruded aluminum worth a lot less. So the difference between sheet aluminum is sheet aluminum is made by stamping it. Extruded aluminum is made by being pushed through a machine. So if it's a long tube and it's been pushed through a machine, that's extruded aluminum. Extruded aluminum, when it's clean, completely clean, is like 75 cents a pound. If it's dirty, it's about 52 cents a pound. This stuff here can be 30 cents, 40 cents a pound. Right now, it's, all, it's different. It depends on your parking place. If you're out in the middle of Colorado, they're not paying you as much because they got to haul it down here to the coast to ship it off to whoever's going to buy it. So it's all different uh, depending on uh, what location you're in and who their buyers are that that particular scrapyard has. This is kind of just a lead up into this particular uh, scrap metal load that we're going to do probably tomorrow. So here, here's one of these pet peeves of mine, okay? Now, I don't know why, and it's got it's probably something that happened way back in 2007 2008 okay because there's a lot of rules that came into place back then when people were stripping out these houses that were sitting vacant people were desperate nobody had any money coming in talking about after the housing crash a lot of crazy stuff going on then that stuff's all over it's rare it doesn't happen very often anymore okay so let me give you an example these car batteries here so now we're a demolition and a junk removal company. That's what we do. It should be logically make sense that we're gonna end up getting lots of batteries. We're gonna get lots of HVAC systems. We're gonna get a lot of stuff like that. And just recently have they allowed us to bring a business license and the permit number to turn in the HVAC systems. Otherwise, what was happening is everybody would just throw it into their regular load and they get it for free. It's freaking dishonest. It's straight dishonest. So guys like that have scrap from that stuff, if you're not an HVAC contractor, well, we're a demolition contractor. I mean, we take this stuff out and we take it out a lot of it. The fact that we can't bring that stuff in without having a commercial HVAC license is bull crap. It's been going on since 2000 five or whatever so they're just now letting us do that they're actually acting like adults and doing logical things it's shocking but still i can only bring two batteries we get 10 or 20 batteries a week why can't i bring 10 or 20 batteries to the scrap yard it's ridiculous so at any rate there's my rant <coughs> dave lockwood remove it pros demolition um thanks for watching the video and we'll see you on the next one Hey, uh, Bernard. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome, sir. Appreciate it. I appreciate you a lot. All right, and here the guys are loading up the truck and getting ready to go to the scrapyard. The last scrapyard video we did on this has done very well, and uh, we have an even bigger load this time. Uh, the amount will surprise you. Hey, thanks for being part of our community. We appreciate you and uh, we'll see you on the next video.